Aramo, Japan Reuters, ever since North Korea lobbed two missiles far above this windswept fishing town on Japan's northern island of Hokkaido, seaweed farmer Mitsuyo Kawamura says she's been on edge. Now when I hear a loud sound, I look outside, I look out at the ocean, 68-year-old Kawamura said from her seaside cottage in Aramo where she lays out long dark strands of kombu seaweed on stones to dry in the sun. I feel anxious, like I never know when it will come again. As Japan prepares to vote in Sunday's national election, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has called North Korea's escalating threats. It also conducted a sixth nuclear test last month, a national crisis that only he can lead Japan through. Yet the missiles that flew over Aramo on August 29 and September 15 created an eerie threat no one saw or heard them. They streaked by several hundred kilometers above land, too high to see with the naked eye, before splashing into the Pacific more than 1,000 kilometers 600 miles to the east. Sponsored warnings of the missiles spread through sirens and government issued J alerts on millions of cell phones throughout Japan, jolting some out of sleep. Kawamura has since stocked up on extra food and keeps the radio on to listen for more warnings. Like many residents here, and across Japan, she feels helpless, unsure of how to protect herself. When it's launched, it could land here just moments later, she said. There's nowhere to hide. Abe's rhetoric has grown harsher as North Korea has threatened to sink Japan and seems intent on developing nuclear warheads that can reach the U.S. mainland. He has repeatedly backed U.S. President Donald Trump's all options on the table stance and says now is not the time for dialogue.